it is very difficult to live in a world that is rapidly changing in front of our eyes and every day everything we love or we hold dear is getting obsolete at a dizzying rate and not to think of the past. So I think uh, the, the fastness of the world, the mind-blowing rate of change makes one curious and that's where we begin to think what is this change about? That's history. I grew up and got my initial education in Calcutta, which is a very lively city. People are very opinionated, all the time arguing, politically active, called the cultural capital of India. And I plugged into various networks and uh, started um, even tr trying out a little bit of uh, uh, original historical research even at a young age. But I received my formal training in history in Presidency College Calcutta and later at the postgraduate level in Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. I think Bodhi is a fantastic teacher. I also think that he takes teaching very seriously. I think he enjoys it. So uh, I think he's one of the kind of few academics that I've seen who really puts so much of themselves into their teaching. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it's something that he really uh, invests in. And so I think that when you invest that much in something, um, Definitely, this is, you know, this is, I guess, one of the natural outcomes. He is one of the most erudite academics I know. He commands a vast body of knowledge. His interaction, his conduct in the classroom, you know, he would like assign six, seven students uh, certain readings, long, difficult readings and without not much of a piece of paper or pen. He will interact, engage with each student on those particular readings right off the top of his head. One of the reasons I wanted to come to UCT uh, was to be able to immerse myself in the study of African history. And um, over the years, what I realized that the best way to learn African history is to learn it with my students in class. Receiving the Distinguished Teacher Award was very humbling. I truly believe that whatever is being recognized here, is, it belongs properly in a collective, in the wonderful, congenial, conversational community of my colleagues in the Department of Historical Studies. You need to be aware of what the limits of classroom teaching are. Because classrooms can only teach students to ask questions. For answers, they have their lives. 